Hi, welcome to the range. Today we're again going to look at penetration testing, but this time I made up a device that is close to what I've read about in the Civil War era and later of doing a penetration test with multiple pine boards that are spaced a inch apart. Now they said they use one inch board, but going to your local home center, I could get three quarter inch. And these are from Menards, they're, they're standard pine. I'm not sure exactly what type of pine it might be or how soft it is. So what I'm gonna do in this test is I'm gonna shoot four rounds and count how many boards it's penetrated. The four shots that I'm gonna do is again with my 1858 Remington using the Johnson and Dow 207 grain bullets. The first one's gonna be about 26 grains of 2F powder. The second one is going to be 26 grains of 3F powder. Then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a modern substitute 777. It is by volume the same amount, but weight is about 19 and a half grains. I also have a 4FG for the final bullet that is the same by volume, but I'm gonna to have to remeasure and put in the video what its true weight is. I think it's about 18 grains, but I forgot to write that one down. Now, the penetration test itself will show us how, if there's any difference between the weight of bullets. Uh, I do know there's a little bit of speed difference, but I haven't found a way to accurately measure black powder yet. But to get an idea of what this penetration is to do, I also brought a two handguns with me. One's a Sig P226 9mm, and I have both 125 grain round nose and 124 grain XTP. I also have my 45 with my carry ammunition, which is 230 grain XTP uh, loaded with bullseye. I'll, but the idea is to not only see what each of these black powder loads will do and what the penetration is, I think it's also important to show uh, the equivalence to a modern firearm and see if there's a difference in penetration. And that kind of gives us an idea of what these 207 grain bolts can do. Again, I'm shooting here at seven yards. Okay, the 2F powder did three boards and made a dent about a quarter inch into the fourth board. So now I'm going to do the 3F powder. Okay, the 3F powder went through five boards and is almost through the sixth board, but you can still see the bullet in that board. Now we're gonna go to triple seven powder. Okay, the triple seven powder went through six boards and as again, you can see the impression about a quarter of an inch into the seventh board. We're finally gonna go with the four up powder. The four up powder again went through six boards and did put about a three eighths of an inch uh, mark on the seventh board. Here I'm going to go ahead and switch to a modern firearm, nine millimeter. My first shot is going to be a uh, 125 grain round nose. This is reload uh, soft lead bullet and we're going to see what it does. Okay, the 125 grain brown nose broke the sixth board, broke a wedge chunk out of it. It went cleanly through the first five. It does have a mark in the seventh board. I can't tell if that's because it's broken or if it punched cleanly through, but there's definitely a bullet mark on the seventh board. So now we're gonna do the 124 grain XTP. Uh, this is set up for carry load.
the 124 grain XTP went through five boards. I do not see a bullet mark on the six. No. I think those are fat. I'd have to double check my books at home. That's faster than the round nose bullet on uh, speed, but yet with that different bullet shape, the round nose versus uh, the XTP, the hollow point, probably explains the penetration difference in those. Uh, my 45, I only have 230 grain uh, XTP uh, loaded. I don't have any round nose or flat nose with me today to test, but again, this is going to compare the conical load that I have in the 1858 versus a known load that I use as my carry round. Okay, I'm going to try that again. I failed where I wanted to hit. That chunk of wood you saw go flying off was from board seven. Okay, that looks to be where I wanted it. So here I have my block. That one definitely went through five boards. I'm not seeing an exit off of the fifth board. I'm thinking the earlier ones were going through what I already shot and already cracks in the board making it through. But going through solid boards, that went through five, and I'm not seeing an exit on that. So that there gives you an idea of uh, the penetration power of the 44 207 grain Johnson & Dow bullet loaded with different powders and compared to modern ammo. And I luckily recovered uh, one of the bullets. Thank you. And thanks for watching.